I'm here in a little lake and looking for grey heron and cormorant and I just saw a cormorant a little bit further out in the water but I see a grey heron 300 meters in front of me but I have no idea how to get close I do not have any high hopes for any pictures at this situation here they are so shy but even so I'm going to take my camera out and just give it a go and also I wanted to tell you a little secret many of you are asking me how I post process my images and I have made some videos and I will leave a link in the description of those videos but I'm also going to go a little bit in depth of one tool that I use in Lightroom uh, which I really love and I'm yeah follow along I'm going to tell you about that a little bit later I'm ready. I think I'm going to use some of the trees to as a cover to get a little bit closer, but I don't want to push it too far. It's really quiet and no wind at all, so it's so easy to make noise in the forest. see the cormorant as well further further out but what I'm going to do is try to get a little bit closer to the, the grey heron I made one step one step and I'm 300 meters away and didn't make too many noise on that step but that was enough to scare away the grey heron. It's gone and yeah, I will not be able to photograph that. Yeah, that's the way it is. But I, like I said, I want to show you uh, a little tip that I'm using a lot in Lightroom and hopefully that can help you too. So uh, let's head home and into Lightroom and I will show you the rest there. So here I am in Lightroom and I think it was a couple of years ago when they introduced a new tool which I'm using all the time and that is this Dehaze. I really love that tool and here is uh, I'm going to show you why I love that so much. So this is a perfect example of where I uh, would have using it uh, and especially in the background here when you get some darker areas uh, of like uh, stripes with the shadow hitting it 
and can be a little bit distracting in my opinion though. Uh, and also the bird itself is a little bit dark and instead of using the shadow I use the dehaze. And look what's happening if I to press that minus five. You see everything comes a little bit more flatter but uh, we will deal with the contrast a little bit later. So, but let's first show you what I mean about the background. You see this area here and here, it's a little bit dark and what I'm using is the brush tool and then take the dehaze and like experiment a little bit, don't do it, do it too much and I'll create uh, some weird, uh, um, yeah, weird places and edges. But let's start with minus 10. And see here, if I just brush over here, see everything is disappearing. So nice and so easy. Uh, before I used the uh, the shadow tool here, but it was uh, it wasn't good enough. Uh, but using the the dehaze tool, I didn't don't get too much of the weird edges. Same here, you can see everything disappearing and sometimes if it's too much um, of the dark uh, some areas with some dark stripes like here you can go over and do it again you can do it over and over until it's uh, you're satisfied with the result take the uh, brush a little bit smaller and just go between you see there's too much so I pull a little bit back here and you see it's easy to fix take this stripe here and suddenly gone and gone. Oh, I really love this tool here. Look what it does, smoothing everything out. But sometimes um, when I use that, it can can be a little bit cold in that area. So I need sometimes to warm it a little bit up. You see, really, really nice. And if you want it a little bit lighter, you can also press the exposure a little bit bit you see it's matching more of the background here and you can just keep doing it until you are satisfying but like i said i really like the easiness of that dehaze tool there and i won't go through the picture and edit it with the contrast i only want to show you how i can use the dehaze to tool to uh, control some of the darkest area in the background without creating some weird edges and uh, yeah weird looking pictures you see so so easy <laughs> i really enjoy that so hopefully you could find this um, helpful uh, to use that yourself if you want if not uh, that is okay but i just have to show you uh, this little tip here and yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye